What's going on folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here back again with Cobalt Press. We talked about monsters, now we're going to talk about adventures with Scarlet Citadel. So, uh, let's, I don't know, here we go. Sure, well, um, yeah, I'm Wolfgang Bauer, I'm the founder at Cobalt Press, and I'm stupidly excited about <laughs> Scarlet Citadel. It's um, the first time that Cobalt Press has done a classic dungeon crawl adventure, and we did it uh, we did it backwards. We, <laughs> we said we want to do a dungeon adventure. We want there to be like 10 levels worth of adventure. And we want to draw all the maps first. And I, I was talking to Steve Winner, one of the classic D&D designers. Uh, and I said, yeah, we're doing the maps first. What do you think about this, Steve? And he said, oh, yeah, that's the way we did Undermountain. I'm like, oh, right. You worked on Undermountain? He said, yeah, I, I was at TSR at the time. And, I, you know, he worked on the original Undermountain box. So he remembered the maps were done first. So he's like, that's a great approach. Nobody ever does this. That's good. And then I said, Steve, would you like to write it? And he said, yeah, twist my arm, <laughs> right? <laughs> he's done Tomb of Annihilation, Horde of the Dragon Queen, Rise of Tiamat, Ghosts of Saltmarsh. There's more. <laughs> but he's been around the RPG industry forever and he loves dungeon crawls. He runs them all the time. And Scarlet Citadel is what he did when we said, cut loose, here's some great maps, give us a great adventure. And, oh man, I gotta show you a little bit of the interior here. Yeah, it is a very pretty book. It was heavily play tested. It's got a village called Red Tower, kind of like Hamlet, right? It's got to have a home base mm -hmm. with some NPCs. It's got an introduction that talks about how does it all work. And then it's got the ruins level, like a castle ruins, gatehouse of Hamlet kind of thing. And then here's a sample map and some sample art. <laughs> it gets pretty dark right away. I'm like, Steve, Steve, what are you doing? Um, He's just cackling in the corner, rubbing his hands together. <laughs> right? Like, okay, your Tomb of Annihilation days have clearly rubbed off because he's got the mean streak. But there's a lot of great art, and it just gets nastier and nastier the further down you go, right? Um, he also has things on restocking the levels and all that. But I want to point out the maps, right? You saw one of the maps right here. I said we did the maps first. You get all the maps in the book, you can run it from this, but if you want... Here we go. We made some poster maps that are wet, dry, erased, two-sided poster maps of every level of the dungeon, plus the ruins on the top, right? So there's the ruins on the top. Let's let's yeah let's get this. Not that we don't want to block Amanda out here, but we'll take a look. Look at. What's on the other side? Yeah. You start heading down into it. I mean, and these are what what size are these maps roughly? These are about two feet by three feet, and there's thirteen map sides, and so that covers all ten levels of the dungeon, every room. And because there are secret doors and traps everywhere, you don't want to show that stuff to your players on this. We also printed 20 overlay maps. And so this, this one's a secret, I think it's a secret door and then a room associated? So the secret door is shown there on the overlay, but it's not shown on the map, the big map that you put down first. And if you flip it over, there's an activated portal or trap there um, that again, isn't visible on the map when you first show it to players. So these overlays are a great way to just slap it down. You don't have to redraw it. You don't even have to really describe it in a ton of detail. You just say, oh yeah, the trap's gone off and the ooze is everywhere. Now it looks like this. Um, which is a great <laughs> trick that I'm used to being able to do on a virtual tabletop. Um, but doing it in front of a table of players has a real level of satisfaction. It's fun to do at conventions too. Um, obviously, I just said virtual tabletop. Scarlet Citadel has complete support on Roll20 and Fantasy Grounds with all of those tricks and traps built in. Um, and, oh my god, I, I just love this product. And Amanda, 
Yes. What have you got? Oh my gosh. Well, here I've got the limited edition Scarlet Citadel hardcover. It's this beautiful leatherette cover with some lovely art. And this eye is actually important the further down you get into the dungeon, which I won't give spoilers, but you'll recognize it when you come across it. And, you know, I really just think that this dungeon is so much fun in this old school, uh, second edition style. It's very reminiscent of Temple of Elemental Evil, like Wolfgang yeah. mentioned. Um, there's a town called Red Tower that is like the Hamlet um, of this adventure. And, you know, it's it's very much talking, talking to Steve. Like Wolfgang was saying, he was laughing and just rubbing his hands together talking about how deadly this dungeon really was. And he's got a specific trap corridor that's in the very first yes. level that he designed specifically as an homage to one of your home games that he mentioned. Yes. <laughs> and it's all about killing it's all about killing people early and letting them know, not killing them, but letting them know like this is not going to be a cakewalk. And he's done these things that I think are fairly innovative even for 5th edition, which is uh, allowing the monsters to really sort of like kind of regenerate and the levels to be dynamic and so when the PCs go through a certain area they haven't actually cleared that level they might if they leave and come back find that other monsters have come in to claim that territory and everything is is changing all of the time so it's a really fun interesting exercise in what does a dungeon like ecology look like and how does it change according to PCs it's very fun right yeah, that's, I don't know, I don't think I've really seen anything like that for 5th edition before, and that's great, mm. because the amount of times, I mean, especially if you're letting people know up front, this is a lethal encounter, a whole lethal dungeon, there's the very real possibility that we're like, well, we better get out of here, we'll go rest while we're safe, and we'll come back, but we already cleared the first level, so we're fine, and then that's not the case. Right. Uh, the restocking rules are great. Now, it's not like you need to redo the entire level, right? Yeah. But you leave and come back, and a few things do take up residence, right? <laughs> and you don't know where and you don't know when. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise that the monsters regroup. Um, but there's story elements in Scarlet Citadel as well, right? We talk about it as a dungeon crawl, but there's story woven into it as well. We call it a dungeon of secrets because there's generations of weird lore, weird pools of ley line energy um, that, that infuse the dungeon. And as you uncover some of that information, I mean, it's not a story that's like necessarily character driven, but it's clues and it's a cult. I have said too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's a lot going on there for the game master to share with players as they go level by level. Um, at first, it's, it's, a, it's a smash em up early on with that trap corridor. Yep. Um, but it soon turns into what the heck is going on and there's a little bit of investigation in it too. So if people want, I know this was backed on uh, Kickstarter, obviously very successful, it's here at the show, but if people wanted to pick it up, where could they go to get it? Uh, it is actually out in hobby stores everywhere now. Um, I fear that we may have underprinted <laughs> and it may not stay in print for very long. Uh, it's also available at the Kobold Press store online. Um, the, uh, the map pack is separate. If you feel like, you know, I'm playing online anyway, I don't need a, a set of tabletop maps, you can just buy the adventure part. And it's available on drive-thru, on the Kobold Press store, on Roll20, Fantasy Grounds. Who am I forgetting? Oh, Shard Tabletop did a beautiful implementation too. So, yeah, wherever better games are sold. Well, there you go, folks. If you're looking for a challenging dungeon crawl adventure with awesome maps that you can get separately or not, or you can get, again, let's post this, uh, this or a very shiny foil cover or your standard cover. Both are fine. Uh, Scarlet Citadel, you should check it out. I've read through it. It's very good. It's what you come to expect from Cobalt Press. So uh, it's definitely worth your time, especially if you need that dungeon crawl encounter. So, thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah.